Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to talk about cats breeding and selection and in particular I'm going to talk about different blood groups in um, cats and uh, how it is important. Cats just like humans or other animals like dogs has different blood groups. But why it is important to know? Because unlike humans who got very frequently um, blood transfusion, cats doesn't get uh, blood transfusion. But uh, I also uh, later would explain how blood groups are uh, influence uh, breeding. So, first of all, I want to give you an idea about uh, different blood groups in cats. And I'm going to talk about general misconception about it. Maybe uh, some of you, especially those people who are uh, animal breeders, cat breeders, know that uh, in cats we have three different blood groups. Sometimes uh, it is referred as blood group A, blood group B, and blood group AB. And uh, this is general uh, misconception that uh, when we cross uh, one animal that belongs to the blood group A, whose genotype is AA, to cat that belongs to the blood group B, uh, which genotype BB, we are going to get um, next generation, which is going to be AB. In cats, uh, this is not a um, trait that we would refer as co-dominance, and those we actually have three blood groups in cats. Uh, actually, uh, this is simple uh, Mendelian trait where uh, allele A is dominant, so I can cross out this um, variant of uh, misconceptional idea of the blood typing in cats. So uh, cats has dominant allele A and recessive allele B. So uh, three uh, blood groups are possible. One would be genotype AA that would make blood group, phenotypic blood group A. Another would be AB also would make the same blood group A. And also we would have small b, small b genotype that would make blood group B. And we also would have uh, another blood group AB that is separate from these um, three genotypes. So this would be blood group A, blood group B, and the third blood group AB is very, very rare, and uh, we still don't know uh, genetics uh, behind this blood group. So basically when I am going to refer to blood groups in cats, I am going to talk about these two blood groups, which are made by three genotypes, AA, AB, and BB. So as you see, this is just like in simple Mendelian genetics, simple dominance. Allele A is dominant over the allele B. So genotype, which is heterozygous AB, would make blood group A. So why it is important to know uh, these uh, blood groups? It is important because, uh, let me explain uh, in more detail uh, what we have in each blood group. For example, uh, phenotypic blood group A is made by two genotypes A, A and A, B. If we would imagine that this is red blood cells and uh, this antigens, antigen uh, A and antigen B, we can find as um, proteins on the surface of the red blood cell. So for example, uh, antigen B, we can use this color to represent 
antigen B and antigen A we can uh, use different color for example blue would stand for the antigen A so this is how heterozygous genotype would look like and homozygous genotype uh, once again imagine that this is red blood cell would have only antigen A on the surface of the red blood cells so basically what does it mean uh, this is the same uh, blood group A but in the serum uh, of the of this blood for example of the cat that is um, homozygous dominant we would find uh, antibodies B so antibodies B would be present in the serum but in the serum of the cat that is heterozygous so has both uh, antigens B uh, we wouldn't find antigens uh, sorry, antibodies B in the serum because otherwise such antibodies would start killing uh, own red blood cells. So, uh, and in the group, uh, blood group B, which is made by uh, only one genotype B, B, uh, in these cats we would find red blood cells. Uh, that would have uh, antigens B on the surface of the red blood cells. So, as you remember, we use white color to designate these antigens. And in the serum, we would find uh, a lot of um, such um, antibodies as antibodies A. So, what actually would happen if we would uh, transfuse blood B to the recipient um, which is uh, belong to the blood group A. If uh, a cat would be genotype AB, it wouldn't have any antibodies against this uh, red blood cells and such a cat can get uh, such a blood cats that belong to the genotype AA would have a small amount of the uh, antibodies B that would attack these red blood cells and start to uh, kill these cells as foreign um, uh, proteins but I would uh, have to mention that in uh, cats that uh, belong to this genotype a number of these uh, antibodies is small but uh, in uh, blood group B uh, quantity of uh, this uh, antibodies A is great so cats that belong to the blood group A can get blood group B um, as a transfusion but not vice versa so uh, this cats can get this blood but cannot donate uh, their blood to uh, recipients who has blood group B. As I earlier told, uh, it is not the case when, uh, for example, cats would need blood transfusion. But it is uh, very important to know that, uh, for example, in a liter uh, of uh, kittens, uh, there can be uh, some kittens that would belong to the blood group uh, B or would belong to the blood group A. For example, mother can be of the genotype uh, B, B, so her phenotype, phenotypic blood group would be B. And male cat may belong to the blood group A, say uh, male would be heterozygous, so what is going to happen to the litter? In the litter we may find that some of the kittens would belong to the blood group A and uh, some of the kittens would belong to the blood group B. As you see, 
uh, in our case so this is female side and this is phenotypic blood group A and this is male side and uh, regardless of the sex uh, of the uh, progeny we would find that 50% of them would belong to the blood group A so let me use red color to designate uh, blood group A and 50% um, would belong to the blood group B so uh, why it is important to know uh, what is the uh, phenotype uh, of the blood of the parents so basically what is going to happen mother who belong to the blood group B uh, when kittens would be born uh, during the first 24 hours would uh, produce special milk that we call colostrum and this milk uh, would contain a lot of antibodies and of course if mother belong to the blood group B so her genotype is BB uh, she would have a lot of uh, antibodies A so what would uh, going to happen uh, this antibodies A would find red blood cells with uh, antigens A and start to destroy this red blood cells so basically milk of the uh, mother cat would kill uh, red blood cells of her kittens that belong to the different blood group and um, how we can see it phenotypically we can see it at that extremes like um, tips of the ears and tip of the tail would start to die off because uh, of the uh, bad uh, blood circulation and also such kittens would be uh, sleepy um, there are high accidents uh, that they may die just like in humans who got uh, like uh, wrong uh, blood so such blood would coagulate and people may die and cats also may die but in uh, our example cats even don't uh, have to get a blood transfusion the milk of the mother may kill uh, kittens in a litter if a mother would belong to the blood group B and kittens would belong to the blood group a you may ask why uh, on this picture here i used this uh, arrow to show that uh, blood from the blood group b can be transfused uh, to the uh, uh, cats that belong to the blood group a those serum has uh, antibodies a uh, that's because uh, blood is uh, usually never uh, transfused as a whole um, entity but would be uh, separated to uh, blood components for example only red blood cells would be transfused or uh, platelets would be transfused or uh, white uh, blood cells would be transfused and uh, serum can be transfused separately uh, only to those uh, cats that uh, also would have um, uh, antibodies A in the serum so to the same blood group but uh, here we see a different example uh, when uh, milk of the female cat contains uh, antibodies that would uh, attack uh, red blood cells of the kittens so what could be done how we can prevent it uh, if you know that uh, some of the uh, kittens in a litter of your cat uh, had um, history of uh, dying that means that uh, probably your uh, female cat belong to the blood group B so in order to avoid such situation you also have to choose uh, Tom Tomcat to belong to the same blood group B uh, another variant would be uh, just to take uh, away uh, kittens that would belong to the blood group A 
Umbilical cord can be used in order to find a blood group uh, of the kittens uh, or you can just uh, take away kittens from mother and feed on the artificial milk that would be a substitution to the natural milk but wouldn't contain antibodies and after 24 hours you can uh, return kittens to mother and mother can feed uh, her kittens uh, without any problem in the future because uh, colostrum only would be produced first 24 hours since uh, kittens would be born. So if mother would belong to the blood group A, so uh, she may have uh, two dominant alleles A or uh, A allele and B allele and say father or uh, tomcat would belong to the blood group B. Uh, in this case 100% of the progeny would be heterozygous, uh, would be uh, A and B. Uh, mother can feed uh, her kittens without any problems because uh, those she is also going to have um, antibodies B but the quantity is very very low in comparison to the blood group B and quantity of the uh, antibodies A and uh, heterozygous uh, uh, blood that is also blood group A uh, wouldn't have antibodies B at all so we don't have such a problem when female cat belong to the blood group A and of course we wouldn't have uh, such a problem if uh, both parents would belong to the blood group uh, B or would belong to the blood group A. So what is the accidence of the blood group A and B uh, in cats? It depends on the first of all uh, countries. In some countries uh, there can be uh, different accidents due to so-called uh, founder effect when only one cat have been brought in this country and this cat uh, gave a rise to the, uh, all the other cats of this breed. And usually people um, in breed cats f just to keep uh, certain traits and uh, one, just one or few cats may start uh, the whole um, line in particular country. Or uh, also it depends uh, on the breeds. Uh, itself, for example, some breeds uh, only have type A blood. For example, uh, breeds from this list uh, would have very few uh, blood type B, so over 90% would be um, blood type A. So this is uh, names of the breeds. Yet in other breeds we may uh, have uh, accidents of the blood group B even uh, in uh, more higher quantities up to 25% and uh, other breeds has a higher accidents of blood group B uh, more than 25% in some uh, of these uh, breeds even uh, this can reach more than 60%. So uh, in these breeds, uh, problems that I uh, described earlier uh, can be very serious. And uh, as I said, uh, cats only produce colostrum uh, 24, first 24 hours. So if kittens would feed uh, on this uh, milk and they would have uh, blood incompatibility with her mother, nothing can be done uh, later probably such kittens just would die or would be seriously uh, damaged uh, and we can see it um, such traits as uh, red urine because red blood cells would be damaged and uh, hemoglobin can be found in the uh, urine of such kittens. So better to separate kittens from the mother then you can return uh, these kittens later and they can feed on the milk of the mother after say uh, first 48 hours 
And one more time, uh, at the beginning, I show this misconceptual uh, idea of the codominance of two alleles A and B, which produce three uh, uh, blood groups, three genotypes. Actually, uh, allele A and B and behave as uh, dominant allele and recessive allele that produce three genotypes, but only two uh, blood groups. Those uh, third uh, genotype and third blood group also exist, blood group AB, but this is not a result uh, of uh, interaction of these two alleles. So, as you see, uh, this blood group is designated as capital A, capital B, and uh, accidents of this blood group is very rare. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.